Hey guys, I'm Abby Lyons and I'm going to show you how to play Carolina by Taylor Swift on the ukulele. If you'd like to download the lead sheet for the song and also have access to the full play along version, come join us over on Patreon. And also, thank you so much to Enya for sponsoring this video. If you'd like a nice beginner ukulele that isn't going to break if you drop it, I highly recommend this one, the Nova ukulele. There's more info down below in the description. So first we're gonna learn how to play the chords for this song. There are just four chords, they're all down here, and if you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. Our first chord is A minor, so you're just gonna put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and here's A minor. Then our next chord is G, you're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's G. Our next chord is D minor. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret of the third string. Here's D minor. And then our last chord is C. You're just going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. And here's C. So those are all the chords. If you would like to play in the original key, put your capo on the second fret. So now we're going to learn how to play the verse. The first half of our chord progression is down below. We have A minor, A minor, then G, and then D minor. And then the second half of our chord progression is actually those chords in reverse. So then we have D minor, G, and then two times on A minor. So the strumming pattern we're going to use is mute, down, mute, down. On A minor, mute, down, mute, down. So in the chord progression, it sounds like this. We have mute, down, mute, down, mute, down, mute, down, then G, down, mute, down, and D minor. Now the second line, D minor, mute, down, then G, mute, down, and A minor, mute, down, A minor again, mute, So that chord progression is going to happen two times all together for the verse. So here's the verse all the way through with the words. Oh Carolina creeks running through my veins Lost I was born, lonesome I came, lonesome I'll always stay Carolina knows why for years I roam Free as these birds, light as whispers Carolina knows So that's how you play the verse. Now we're going to learn how to play the chorus, and the first progression in the chorus just stays on A minor. We're on that for four times, and we're going to keep the same strum in the chorus, so that first line sounds like this. We have mute down, 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 mute down. So that's the first part. Then the next chord progression, we have C, G, and then two times on D minor. So with the strumming pattern, it sounds like this. We have C, G, D minor, D minor again. And that chord progression happens three times in a row for the chorus. And then we have one last line. We have almost the same thing, but we're going to substitute an A minor for that C chord. So we have A minor, G, and then two times on D minor. And on that last D minor chord, there's a slash. So that means we're just going to strum one time on that D minor chord. So the last line sounds like this. 
we have A minor, G, D minor, and strum. So now here's the chorus all the way through with the words. And you didn't see me here. No, they never did see me here. And she's in my dreams. Into the mist, into the clouds. Don't leave, I make a fist. I'll make it count. And there are places I will never, ever go. And things that only Carolina will ever know. So that's how you play the chorus. And you might have noticed that at the end of the chorus, I started to go into a different strumming pattern when I got to that A minor chord. That strum was down, 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 up. And if you would like to use that strum from that point on to the end of the song, I would recommend that. It kind of like amps up the song a little bit at that point. You could also use that strum for the whole song if you feel more comfortable with that strumming pattern. So now we just have one more section to learn. That section is the bridge. The first half of our chord progression is down below. We're gonna be playing two times on A minor, then two times on G, and then the second half of our chord progression, we have two times on D minor, two more times on G, and the last time will be just one strum. So the strumming pattern we'll use is that down, 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 up. That'll happen one time on each chord. So in the progression, it sounds like this. We have the A minor, A minor again, now G, G again. D minor, G, and one strum. So that's the whole bridge. Here it is now with the words. And you didn't see me here. They never did see me here. No, you didn't see me here. They never saw. So that's how you play Carolina by Taylor Swift on the ukulele. If you would like that full play along video to practice the whole song with me, plus the lead sheet, come join us over on Patreon. And if you liked this video, please give it a like. If you're new here, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. And if you'd like to learn more Taylor Swift songs, I have a whole bunch on my channel. So check out those videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again really soon. Bye. <laughs>